Greetings, everyone. This is Pastor Alan Baggett with today's Victory Church. I'm a little later today than I want to be, but all is good. It's a beautiful day outside. <clears throat> I can hear the birds. Uh, I even see some buds on the trees that are about to uh, come out. Um, my allergies have kicked up just a little bit, so we know that spring is well on its way. Yay, we got some people jumping on already. Amen. Well, I just wanted to give you a word of encouragement today before I go into uh, my meetings for the day and the stuff we got going. I just want to speak something good into your life. I know that in the world that we're in right now, uh, it's, it's very precarious. And I'm watching the world stage and trying to keep up on that as I should. Hey, Tim, good to see you, buddy as I should, and uh, it's very precarious out there right now, and a lot of things going on that uh, aren't good at all, but I want to encourage you with a word here in your life, because I want you to understand that, that no matter what's going on around us, God is still on the throne, and He is still alive, and He is still well, amen. Uh, I wish I could hear an amen back to me off of this right here, but that's the truth. Amen. If you jump on today for this uh, word, I would ask you to just hit the heart button a bunch of times and let me know that you're there and or even say something. Good morning, Miss Amy. Good to see you this morning. Miss Marilyn, hey, good to see you. Uh, you're in the hospital room. We saw the CNN uh, interview. Uh, I had seen it earlier and Tom brought it in and made sure everybody saw it Wednesday night, but that, but people were excited. I mean, I saw a couple of people uh, brushing back tears, uh, just excited to see, uh, uh, that good progress. That's a good report. So good to see you on here today, but Hey, the world's precarious right now. And, um, a lot of evil men doing evil things and a lot of, uh, people who could be doing good things that aren't doing anything uh, out of selfish ambition. So uh, as we look at our world today, I don't need you to allow that to suppress what God has in you and what God wants to do in you today. No matter, God is with us no matter what takes place around us. Now we need to be in prayer for Ukraine. We need to be in prayer for uh, the governmental systems of the world that is around us. And we need to be in prayer for that. But God is going to move uh, in his church. He's going to move within us regardless. So don't, don't make your whole diet all this, all this bad news. Bring, bring some good word into your life. That's why I want to give the good word today. I need to bring good word in your life. But before I do that, please pray for Ukraine. Pray for our country that we'll make better decisions and be more responsive to our friends and to our allies around the world. And uh, we can't do much about that other than what our elected officials do, but we can pray. So uh, I just encourage you to do that and join with me in that. Now, in the Word today, in the Word today, I want to go to the book of John chapter 7, verse 38. John chapter 7, verse 38. And the Word of God says this. Whoever believes... Let's see, Brian. It's Brian. Good morning. Okay, okay it's not Amy. It's Brian. Good morning, Brian. <laughs> Amen. Your words right there are right there in that light area, and I couldn't see it. So good morning, Brian. Good to see you. Hey, we're praying for you, by the way. We're praying for you. I uh, gave a report... Monday night and Wednesday night about your situation and uh, uh, just a lot of heartfelt cries went out for you. So just to let you know that we're praying for you and we're standing by you, brother, as you're walking through this. John, John chapter 7, verse 38. John 7, 38. Whoever believes in me, as scriptures has said, or as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow within them. Now, as we look at this passage right here, it says, whoever believes in me, whoever believes in me, 
as the scripture says. Whoever believes in me, it doesn't, it's not contingent on circumstances. It's not contingent on uh, political uh, issues. It's not, uh, 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 it doesn't stand upon social issues. It is not dependent on any of those things. It's simply dependent on whoever believes in me. Whoever believes in me and puts their faith in me. Whoever believes in me. Rivers of living water will flow from within them. You know, I say it all the time that we really don't have political problems and, and social problems. We have a sin problem in, 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 our, in our world today. But not only a sin problem. We, we, we have in the Christian church, we have a, we have a water shortage. We have a water water shortage, and that water sword, shortage is the 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 rivers of living water that should be flowing out of our lives. If we believe in Christ and we yield ourselves to Christ, and we yield our mind and we yield our spirit, no matter the circumstance or what we're going through, we yield ourselves to our heavenly Father. Rivers of living water flow from within us. I'm afraid that so many of us are walking around and we're, we're not rivers of living water, but we're nothing more than dry creek beds. And boy, there's a sermon right there. Maybe I'll do that Sunday. Uh, there's a, di uh, we're dry creek beds. Uh, all around Tennessee, you see all these creek beds that are dry. The only time that water flows through them is when there's a flood or there's a lot of rain that comes and, and it flows through those creek beds and the creek beds are there because it flows it, it, it leads the water and it flows the water out from the main areas as an overflow. And so when it's not an overflow, it's dry. And so, and it's only wet when, it's, when there's a lot of, when there's a lot of rain going on. So, uh, well, my phone's, my phone's ringing. I forgot to turn it off. And, uh, so God has called us to be, uh, I believe in a lot, in the, in the church, we have a lot of dry creek bed Christians. Where there should be living water, it's a dry creek bed. Where there should be life, it's dry. And the only time it gets wet is we go to church or we go to revival or we hear, we, uh, we feel a worship song that we like and it touches us and water flows through our life and water flows through our creek, throws, throws, flows through our life. And, but God's saying right here, if you believe in me and if you allow, if you, if you will just lay it all down and, and turn your mind and your heart and your spirit over to me, I'm telling you right now, it won't be a dry creek bed. You'll have rivers of living water flowing through you. It's our faith and our trust in the Lord that opens the door. It's our faith and our trust in the Lord that opens the door in, inside of us for, for a new life. I'm going to tell you right now, life tries to pull you down. But our faith and our belief in our Heavenly Father and our Lord Jesus Christ elevates us to new heights. If you are a dry creek bed Christian, I'm asking you to open the floodgates. There's something in your life, there's something somewhere that's dammed up the water flow. And it's keeping the water. And the only time you get any water is when it overflows the, the, the blockage in your life and it overflows and it comes through your life. Let's remove the blockage. Let's remove the blockage. Christ inside of us causes us to come alive, not to die off. It causes us to come alive. It causes us to uh, feel him and come alive from the top of our heads all the way down to the soles of our feet. He is the living water. And that living water is strong inside of you and it's strong inside of me. Amen. So this morning, don't be a dry creek bed. Don't be a dry creek bed. This morning, let the let let rivers, let rivers of living water begin to. Put, yeah, just put it up front. Now I got I got FedEx delivering right now too. <laughs> That's what you get for doing it outside in your truck. But let living waters flow up inside of you. Amen. And let's begin to do that. So as you begin to walk through the day, don't be that dry creek bed. Don't be that dry creek bed. But let rivers of living water begin to flow up inside of you and let joy spring up and let peace spring up spring up uh hey beverly good to see you there good to see you this morning and uh let that spring up inside of you and some of you are walking through some pretty pretty rough times right now 
uh, physically. And some of you are working with pretty tough times in your family and financially. But don't let it steal the living water. Don't let it block up the flow of the river of the living water that God has in your life. So today, search your heart. Search your mind. What's blocking the flow? What's blocking your joy? What's blocking your peace? And remove those things. And let that water f flow through your life. Don't be a dry creek bed. I might preach that Sunday. Dry creek bed Christianity. <laughs> Don't be a dry creek bed. Be, be, have water flow through your life continually. It's always there. John 7, 38, we just read it. Whoever believes in me, as the scriptures have said, rivers of living water will flow within them. So I encourage you, let that living water flow up inside of you. Amen? Let it rise up inside of you. And let's not be a dry creek bed. Let's be filled with the presence. Let's just don't have the water in our life only when there's an overflow. But let's have water in our life every day, every morning, every evening. Amen? Hallelujah. Well, I hope that word encourages you today, lifts you up, and, and go out in joy and strength today and accomplish. May God give you favor where you're going. May healing uh, remain in your body. May you continue to heal. Uh, Brother Brian and, and Jamie, may your bodies continue to, to heal and become stronger. The things that need to be corrected, that they become corrected and that uh, you that you are re restored back better than you were before we're well, just going to speak that over all those lives right now in the name of jesus and 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 also that that living water began to flow no matter what situation you find yourself in that you're not a dry creek bed but that you're uh, an ever flow of the presence of god in your life in the morning through the night amen father to touch every person who's joined with me today and every person that's going to watch on replay Ah, Father, just speak to their hearts. There's so many of, that are walking around today that love you, that have surrendered to you, but they're just a dry creek bed. The only time they feel you, the only time they have water in their life is when there's an overflow. So, Father, I just ask that you give them wisdom and discernment uh, on what needs to take place inside of them to remove that blockage, to remove that blockage out of their life so that water can, can flow every day. They'll have that peace and understanding that passes all understanding in their life every day. They'll have a joy unspeakable in their life every day. No matter what their circumstance is, no matter where, where they are physically right now or financially or, or in their family situations, that they'll have joy and peace. And we just speak that, Father, over everybody right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. I hope this word has encouraged you. I bring you another word uh, tomorrow. I am heading out to my next meeting and uh, uh, be in prayer for that meeting because I want it to go, uh, that meeting needs to go good. I need a little favor as I walk into this particular meeting. So just be in prayer with me about that. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Remember, once I get out of this meeting, I get back to the house, I'll do, a, I'll do, I'll pull this up onto YouTube. So you'll have that and I'll post that link and you can share that link. Please share this. Don't just watch it. Share it, tag it, post it on other people's timelines that allow you to do it. And because uh, we need people to hear the word. I don't want just you to hear. I want everybody to hear this. So please help me with that. And once you get the, the, the link to the YouTube, because we actually have more people watch it on YouTube. And uh, so when you get the link to YouTube, uh, get out and share that with everybody you possibly can. It's a good word. People need to be encouraged, especially in the time that we live. God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the morning.